Today's question comes from Zach in Alabama. He asks, I'm reading more and more about de-dollarization and countries moving away from the U.S. dollar as their basis of international trade. Will this affect the strength of the dollar, and should I be concerned about how I'm saving and investing as a result of this? Okay. Number one, Zach, you're spending too much time on the Internet, first and foremost, okay? Because you've gotten into the conspiracy theory blanks here. Now, what is really going on? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned with how it's going. Let me see. I, I, uh, uh, moving away from the U.S. dollar as their basis of international trade. Let me just tell you. China and Brazil and Russia are the three main players in this. They already don't use the U.S. dollar as their basis of international trade. Russia has its own currency. So does China. And so does Brazil. And there's a conversion rate between that currency and the U.S. dollar. So many dollars equals so many yen. Okay? And, uh, you know, when you go to Mexico, a whole bunch of pesos equals a dollar, right? Like 20 of them. So um, that's, you know, you've got a conversion rate from one currency to another. What these particular, th the three largest countries, and they're talking about bringing in some of the oil countries in, as well in the Middle East, uh, are doing is they're trying to come up with one currency that they all use and then that would be an in international trade converted back and forth to dollars much like Europe did with the euro which by the way kind of didn't work when the, the, we had this exact same crap when Europe when, when uh, you know France did away with their own currency the uh, Brexit was the big deal whether the UK was going to get involved or not and the euro was traded all over Europe, and they did away with their basic currency. And now the U.S. is just going to have, we're going to, it's a one world currency. It's the end times of revelation. And this is what comes up, right? Okay. But all it is, is these countries, if they did all agree to use one currency, it'd be much like when Europe went to the euro, and then that's going to exchange for the dollar back and forth. Are those countries going to be able to devalue the dollar by doing that? No. Because while they do take up a lot of land mass, they do not take up a lot of the gross domestic product of the world. The United States still is the vast majority of the gross domestic product of the world. Still, China is big. Russia is basically horrible. And Brazil is in a failed economy like times 10 and is tiny as far as economics go. In other words, like, I, I suspect, I haven't looked it up, but I suspect Texas has a higher GDP mm. than Brazil, as an example. For real. I'm not kidding. I haven't looked it up, but I bet you that's true. Look it up. I know it's got a higher GDP than Egypt, because I looked that up one time. I know it's got a higher GDP than uh, Sweden and about five of the other countries that were talking about natural gas crap a few years ago, because I looked that one up, and that was going to be the end of the world, and they were going to take over. But they're tiny butt little countries. And so when you put them all together... They don't have the muscle to take down the dollar. They just don't. Uh, mathematically, it's arithmetic. You know, you can't, they just don't have it. Now, what they are going to do, if they all do put it together, it's not a de-dollarization. It's not doing away with the dollar. They've created their own currency. They're still going to have to trade with the 800-pound gorilla, which be us. Okay? And you're going to have to trade with us in dollars. So you're going to, whatever little currency you create over there in your little fantasy world that you live in, you're still going to have to trade it for dollars. So it's not going to take down, the dollar's not going to be worth anything, and I don't know how to invest because it's going to collapse because freaking Brazil. Brazil? Seriously? Brazil? I mean, when you look at the math, it's humorous. I mean, and Russia, we always think of as like, you know, in the Rocky movies or something, like oh, yeah. they're going to come bomb the United States or whatever and all this stuff. But they're, when you look at their, even though it's a huge landmass, their economic production is pitiful. It's pitiful because communism sucks. And so it just doesn't create a lot of gross domestic product. You know, and, and so really when you get into it, that's what you're going to find. So I'm, am I worried about this? Absolutely not. Absolutely zero. Should you because be Russia is pitiful. China has no labor force. Their labor force is aging out because they, they stopped having babies legally. 
you know? And so they have no young labor force coming on. So about t- several economists are predicting that their economy is really going to be in mm. deep doo-doo in 20 years because there's going to be nobody to work, nobody to do the work. And so all the stuff that China's creating right now, they're not going to have anybody to do it. And, and so... This is a lot of just fear mongering. It's, it's, it gets clicks and views, and so the media lot, yeah, loves. It gets to spin a lot this. of clicks and views. But should you be concerned about how you're saving and investing? Nope. No, no, I wouldn't nope. change a thing. Nope, 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 nope. I nope, wouldn't nope. bet against America long term. Well, it's and, a bad and, move, and it's not. It's not arrogance. It's math. It's not like I'm blinded by the flag, or patriotism. That's not it. America does some stupid butt stuff sometimes, but uh, but even when we do, we do it on scale. I mean, it's like. <laughs> You know, it's like, come on, man. Oh, so no, no, no. Listen, I'm old and I'm getting tired uh, because when I first started, there was like a conspiracy theory that the world. You've seen them come, all at this point. You know, there's a guy. Here's one. This, I was telling a friend of mine. He, a friend of mine was asking me about this the other day. And I said, my answer to him was, I read a book in 1982 called Bankruptcy 1984. It was predicting the end of the U.S. economy in 1984. It was written by an economist that was brilliant named Peter Grace. He was in charge of the Grace Commission in the Reagan administration. And uh, they were studying the increasing national debt and that the national debt was going to cause the Bankruptcy. economy to collapse, mm. which I think the national debt's stupid and out of control, okay? But this guy said it's going to hockey stick. And the, the monetary policy is going to turn upside down. We've sucked all the cash out, used it for government stuff, and the economy's got no cash to operate on. And so it's going to collapse in 1984. Apparently wrong. Dang. And then another friend of mine wrote a book called Coming Economic Earthquake. Didn't happen. And then another guy wrote a book, talk about the collapse of the economy. And then another guy wrote a book. Well, about then we have Y2K. There's a lot. Oh, and the Y2K was going to collapse the economy. And then there was... Then when the planes hit the towers, the economy was not going to recover because um, 3,000 people died and two towers fell in New York City. So the entire U.S. economy was going to collapse as a result of that. And uh, that went around for a while. And um, And Silicon Valley Bank. The economy's going to collapse. That tiny little bank over in San Francisco that no one knew what it was except venture capitalists has the power to bring down the entire U.S. economy. It's just asinine. At some point, it's like, okay, I, I... George, if I ever write the book on the end of the economy, would you please smack me? I'll do that. Okay. Just make sure you plan it till after your long after your death, so we can't blame you for it in person and go na 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 boo boo. No, you, you were wrong. You would anyway. <laughs> you would. There you go. I know he's dead, but he was stupid. You know, no that. one's gonna say that about you, Dave. Yes, they will. They say it while I'm alive, so probably won't.